Today our topic is absolute value equations. So our essential question is how can I solve equations with absolute value? Vocabulary. Absolute value. Distance of a number from zero on the number line. It's a distance which means it has to be positive. All right, so if you look at the number line, the absolute value of negative 5 is the distance from 0 to negative 5. So we jump 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So that distance is 5 jumps. Absolute value is e equation is an equation containing an absolute value. First off, we're going to talk about simple absolute value equations. So a simple absolute value equation is when x is already isolated. Okay? So the absolute value of x equals 7. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to remove those absolute value bars and we're going to write x equals 7. That's one of our answers because the absolute value of 7 equals 7. The other case is where we remove the absolute value bars. Still, we take those away. But then we're going to switch our positive 7 to a negative 7 because the absolute value of negative 7 also equals 7. So our answers are 7 and negative 7. Now for our second case, if we look, the absolute value of x equals negative 15. The absolute value of a number can never be negative. So in this case, we call it no solution. All right, now some more complex ones. So our process here is this box kind of helps us remember we have our positive side, we have our negative side. So remove the absolute value bars. X minus 3 equals positive 8. So that positive is affecting the answer. Positive 8, and then again remove the absolute value bars. X minus 3 equals instead of positive 8, we have negative 8. Now we just need to solve both of our equations. Undo minus 3 with a plus 3. x equals 11. Put 11 in one of our blanks. Solve the next equation. Same steps. We're going to undo minus 3 with a plus 3. x equals negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So that goes in our other blank. Next example, we have... 2 minus 3x equals 7. Now, some of you might be more comfortable looking at it like this. We sometimes like to have that x value first, and that's okay just as long as we take the negative with the 3x. So after we rewrote it, we can take away the absolute value bars. And this is our positive side. And then we can... Again, take away the absolute value bars. So what's inside those absolute value bars stays the same, but then we change our answer from positive 7 to negative 7. Solve both of the equations. So we undo plus 2 with a minus 2. Negative 3x equals 5. Divide by negative 3. x equals 3 doesn't go evenly into 5, so we will get a decimal answer. We're going to get 1, negative 1 1.6 repeating. For our second equation, we undo minus plus 2 with a minus 2. We get negative 3x equals negative 9 divided by negative 3. We get x equals negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. All right, just two more examples on the back of your note page. We have x plus 9 equals 15. So again, two cases, positive, negative. Remove those absolute value bars. x plus 9 equals positive 15. Then for our second case, we have x plus 9 equals negative 15. Solve both of the equations. Undo plus 9 with a minus 9. We get x equals 6. Solve our second equation. Undo plus 9 with a minus 9. Negative 15 minus 9 is negative 24. Last example, 
Now, if you look, on this one, we have the absolute value of 4x plus 2 equals 26. We have to take care of that plus 2 first because it's outside of the absolute value bar. So we have to undo that plus 2 with a minus 2. We get the absolute value of 4x equals 26 minus 2 is 24. And now we split that into the positive case and the negative case. So we get 4x equals positive 24, and we get 4x equals negative 24. So we have to get the absolute value bars to be the only thing on the one side before we start, before we do the two cases. Undo times by 4 with divide by 4. We get x equals 6 for one of our answers. For our second one, we undo the times by 4 with a divide by 4. Negative 24 divided by 4 is negative 6. So we have 6 and negative 6 for our answers. That's all the notes that I have for you. Thank you for watching this video. And please start the practice that goes along with this video before watching your next video.